Hi boys and girls, welcome back to another edition of Children's Church Online. Today we are going to be learning that Jesus commits to God's will. And now, here's Krista for your lesson. Hello friends, it's Miss Krista. I'm really excited that you're joining me for Children's Church today. I really miss seeing all of your faces and I'm looking forward to seeing you sometime soon. I hope you're enjoying some extra time with your families. Today we will learn that Jesus does hard things, so we can do hard things too. We will read a Bible story about something really hard that Jesus did, but he did it so that we can have something really good. Have you ever done something hard that was good for you? Like maybe you wanted to stay up late, but your parents put you to bed and you obeyed. And that can be really hard, but getting enough sleep is good for our bodies. Maybe you got a new toy and it was really hard for you to share it with your brother or sister or maybe a friend, but you did and you ended up having a lot of fun. Maybe you ate the vegetables you didn't like for dinner because you know they're healthy for your body. All of these are examples of things that can be hard to do but turn out to be good for us. Now I want to read you the Bible story about a time when Jesus did something that was really hard, but it turned out to be really good. Jesus and his disciples went to a garden called Gethsemane. Wait here, Jesus said. Then he took Peter, James, and John deeper into the garden. Stay awake with me while I pray, he said. Then after going a little farther, Jesus fell to the ground and prayed, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me, but let your will be done, not mine. When Jesus came back, he found the disciples sleeping. Couldn't you stay awake with me one hour? He asked. Jesus went away to pray again, and again he returned to find his disciples sleeping. After praying a third time, he came back and said, Are you still sleeping? Get up, my betrayer is coming. At that moment, Judas appeared with a large mob of people. They were carrying swords and clubs. Judas went right up to Jesus and kissed him. This was a sign to the mob to arrest him. When they grabbed Jesus, all of his disciples ran away, leaving him alone with the mob. We know that after this, Jesus went to face death on the cross. What a hard thing to do. Jesus knew that his painful death would mean really, really good things for us because we would get to be best friends with God. Because Jesus did hard things, we can do hard things too. What is something you have to do, but you don't really like to do? Maybe it's brushing your teeth. Maybe it's saying sorry when you really don't want to. Let's watch a video where some kids talk about doing some hard things and why it's good. Pay attention to which of these things you have done too. Pulling weeds is hard work. Those roots go down forever. But if I can get all the weeds out, then the good plants in the garden will have room to grow. So the hard work is worth it. Because we'll have yummy vegetables to eat. Well, except for the spinach. Yuck. I don't like riding the school bus. My stop is the first one in the morning and the last one after school. That means I'm on the bus for a long time and the older kids can be really mean. I wish my mom could drive me to school, but that would make her late for work and we need the money. So if she could do the hard job of going to work, I can do the hard job of riding the bus. My mom says I'm spending too much time playing games. So I have to give up my phone for a week. It's so hard to give up something I love. I miss playing games on the phone, but I found some other fun things to do that I totally forgot about. Yuck, this is so gross. It's my brother's week to clean the toilet, but he's at soccer camp. So guess who got stuck with it? Oh well, you know what they say. It's a hard job, but somebody's gotta do it. Somebody is me. I've been practicing soccer every day since I was five. I've gotten pretty good, but sometimes I feel too tired to practice. 
it just seems too hard. That's when I remind myself that hard work pays off. If I practice hard, I'll get better and better. Math. Who invented math? I really don't want to study for that test tomorrow. It's way too hard. Plus, there's way more fun things to be doing. But if I don't study, I won't get good grades. So here I go, back to the books. My room is a mess. I'm okay with it, but my dad, not so much. He said I have an hour to clean it up, but I'd much rather be watching YouTube. Somehow, it's really hard to obey my parents, you know? But it's the right thing to do. And hey, are those my missing shoes? It would be easy to hang out with my friends and ignore the new kid, who doesn't know anyone yet. But I know if I were new, I'd want someone to hang out with me. I'm going to do the hard thing and reach out to that kid. One day, I want to lead the worship band at church. But you don't get to be a good musician without practice. That's why I keep on practicing, even when my fingers get tired or it's hard to learn a new song. Jesus did the hardest thing ever when he died for our sins. When we do hard things, it shows we want to please him and it makes us better people. Plus, Jesus can use our hard work for good. Doing hard things isn't fun while you do them. But in the end, God often brings good things out of our hard work. This video showed a lot of hard things that paid off in the long run. And next time you have to do something hard, ask God to help you see what good He wants to bring out of it. I have one more activity for us today. And if you would like to do it, here's what you'll need. Some paint. Finger paints work best. You could try it with watercolors, but it might not work as well. A cup of water to dip your paintbrush in. A paintbrush. And if you have it at home, a folder that looks like this, that's empty inside. But if you don't have this type of folder, you can still do this activity. You just need two blank pieces of paper. If you haven't got your materials ready yet, you can pause the video now and get everything you need. Once you're ready, you can take your paint and paint whatever picture you would like. Today, I am going to paint flowers because it's springtime and I like flowers. But you can paint whatever you'd like. My flowers are going to look like big spirals. When you make your painting, use a lot of paint. And take your time. My flowers are going to have some leaves on them. Maybe you could paint your favorite thing about spring. Flowers are my favorite thing, I think. And now, we'll add some red in here. Now we're going to do something hard. It took us a lot of time to do our painting, and if you haven't finished yet, you can pause the video now and finish painting. And when you're ready, we're going to do something hard. We're going to take our painting and fold our folder down on top of it and press down. That might feel like something hard to do because we spent a lot of time on our painting making it beautiful. And it might feel like we're ruining it right now. If you used a paper piece of paper, you can put your second piece of paper down on top of it and press really hard to do the same thing. And now, we'll open our folder. And what we thought was hard ended up being something fun and good because now instead of having one painting, we have two. 
Thank you for joining us today, friends and families. I hope we'll all be together again soon. And remember, Jesus did the hardest thing when he died on the cross, but a good thing came out of that, and that is that we get to be best friends with God.